go up against a Rutgers team that we might see quite a bit of zone against. They have only eight players, but Abby Myers drains a three to start things right off. All of her players like from the coffee shop, and it's just really fun to, to see the chemistry that she's developing. And she said the, those core values that they meet every week on are very invaluable to the development of her program here at Rutgers. An open look in the corner. That does not fall for Cassandra Brown. They were looking to go back to back, and Tymon Miller skips over into the front court all the way to the rim. Put it on the floor, and you're going to be drawn to the sideline and get you in that coffin corner and have you cough it up. It's a 10 second violation on the other side. Abby Myers, her third three today. Who's the way you are in the thick of things? Right. The Zonas cross court pass. Great ball movement by the Terrapins. It's going to open up Pinzon, and she knocks down the three. And shifting and moving that zone by Rutgers. Diamond Miller almost sniping her another steal in this first half. Brenda said, hey, she's always had the leadership qualities, but I think it's more fine-tuned now because she had to sit and really discuss more things. Rutgers with the steal, and then Smichael. Player of the year, Katie Benson was also another Ivy League star that played at Maryland as a grad transfer. The spin and one, the birthday girl. You have to be smart. Quick closeout by Sidibe. Myers gets it away. Masonas with power up and in. They've done a good job of getting reversals and getting to that second and third side, but when that happens, you can attack from reversals. Abby Streeter. Quick pass in the corner. It is Sellers answers right back for three. Affected her by any means. She's got a team high 14 points already. She barrels to the rim for two. The Diamond Miller. Bucket right there, extending through the lane. Here's a steal and a three on one for the Terps. It is Myers draining the three. She's got four today and 18 points. For Maryland, especially in that game against Connecticut. She's got 20 points in that one. Miller, another bucket underneath, and Maryland clicking once more. And where they go in terms of spacing. And that's an example there of when you don't have a true point. Absolutely. Choices. Underneath, it is Myers and easy oh, to yes. Maryland shedding. Go right up with the ball. Yeah, she reminds me of Neka Agumake in a lot of ways with her footwork. Neka Agumake plays with WNBA's LA Sparks. She's a lot like her. At the free throw line. And the second one rims out. Briggs grabs the board. Back behind everyone is Bree McDaniel and one. Diamond Miller goes behind the back, swoops through a ridiculous finish plus the foul. She's not going to soak because her shot's not falling. I mean, she has four steals, she's got a couple of assists. She's doing other things to help impact the game. Cassandra Brown counters with her own three-point play. Offensively by the Terrapins has increased this to a very healthy lead once more. In the corner, Briggs drains the three right in front of her own bench. Well, defense has been the difference maker for Maryland to get back to what got them that lead. They were only up seven at halftime and just expanded it. They dropped it back, playing a little matchup here where they bumped off and got another steal. <laughs> Streeter gets it off the miss free throw and Sellers takes advantage of the miscommunication. She'll just pull up from the elbow. Sellers is denied by Streeter. She waited for Streeter to catch up. Couldn't beat her one-on-one. -on -one. It's Michael launching the three. And along the baseline, Briggs picks it up. And rejected emphatically by Cornwell. No shot clock violation there. Sadibe a little out of control, but gets her own putback. Fair coach. 
Alex Michael goes one of two. Gets a career high 29 points, but Maryland overwhelms Rutgers to take home the victory 78 to 67.